And finally, one local college has changed the way that they're testing students for COVID, saying that it may be more accurate than some of the rapid testing. Jasmine Allen spoke to them about the new method and how the campus has adjusted to operating during this pandemic. When students returned to campus in January, Utica College had several safety measures in place, one being a quarantine building, so students had the option to isolate on site. We have a former residence hall. Uh, it's called Burstone House. It's just off the campus proper, and uh, we have about 75 rooms there. Um, that's a combination of isolation and quarantine, so contacts too. Crow says the college began to notice that half of the students quarantined eventually became positive. So they began testing everyone in isolation. We test them routinely while they're in quarantine uh, just to make sure that if they become positive, we can then identify when and that if their time in quarantine or isolation has to be changed. They also changed their way of testing through a partnership with SUNY Upstate. And uh, Dr. Frank Middleton and his team there had developed a, a saliva test. But you take a saliva sample from each individual, you take 12 individuals, you pool that sample together, and then you send all of those samples. The lab will test each sample, and if it comes back hot, then at least one person has tested positive. From there, the college retests each person in the group, but all of this comes with a pretty big price tag. We spend well over a million dollars a semester to test people, well over a million dollars. And uh, we'll continue to do it until we're, we know that we the pandemic is is uh, going to start to wane or end. As of the 22nd, no employees or students are positive or in isolation. Crow says they'll continue to use a hybrid model and hope to ease up some restrictions by the fall. Reporting, Jasmine Allen, Eyewitness News.